Bruh. Hello, Cody Ventures. Mia here. Today in this quest, we're going to learn how to create a drag and drop inventory with Renpy. Ready for the adventure? Let's go. Before diving into the code, let's talk about the assets we'll be using today. We have images for our characters and objects. If you don't have these exact images, no worries. You can find them on itch.io or open game art, for example. The free source code on my itch.io page also contains assets you can use for your projects. Background.png will be used as the background, cat.png and dog.png will be the items in our inventory, and finally me on the square happy.png, me on the square neutral.png, my on the square happy.png. And Lyra on the square neutral PNG will be our characters who can switch reactions upon receiving an item from the inventory. Now let's see how all this will work with a little code magic. Follow me and don't hesitate to ask questions in the comments if you have any. All right. Let's begin a first spell. This magical formula will change our friends' expressions based on the gifts they receive. Let's go through it step by step. Okay, let's do it. Here, we start our spell by defying character underscore expression. It takes to mysterious ingredients, character, which is our friend, and I am the treasure we're offering them. We use global characters to say we're gonna change something in our book of characters. It's a bit like announcing to everyone, attention, a change is coming. of our magic. If our friend likes the item item in character's character preferences, we change their expression to happy. It's like giving them their favorite treat. Otherwise, we leave them neutral, a bit disappointed but polite. And there you have it. Thanks to character underscore expression. Our friends magically react to the gifts they receive. It's a touch of life in our world. And now, adventurers, get ready to discover the R underscore items underscore available spell. This function is like our magic parrot that scans our adventurers backpack to see if there are any treasures left to share. Let's see how it works. Here we invoke our spell with def r underscore items underscore available. It's a simple incantation without ingredients but with a lot of power. This magical spell, return any item available for item in inventory dot values, is a bit like asking a parrot to fly over our inventory and shout if at least one treasure is still available. If the parrot shouts yes, the function returns true, otherwise, it's false. Easy, right? It was easy, really. And that's all for our underscore items underscore available. Thanks to this function, we always know if we have gifts to offer our friends. It's essential for our adventure. Get ready to uncover the secret of selecting the starting treasure with our select underscore default underscore item spell. It's like choosing the first key to open a treasure chest in our adventure. Let's see how it works. We cast our spell with diff select underscore default underscore item. No mysterious ingredients here. Just a clear mission to find the first available treasure in our inventory. This part, for item underscore ID, 
Item underscore info and inventory dot items is like rummaging through a treasure chest. We examine each item one by one. If we find an available item, if item underscore info available, poof, the spell gives us its magic key. Return item underscore ID, item underscore info. It's our ticket to start the game. And if unfortunately our chest is empty, no panic. Our spell is intelligent. It returns none, none, as if to say, oh, treasure's here. Let's go search for other adventures. And there you have it for select underscore default underscore item. A handy little spell to kick off our story with the right item. Ready for the next step in our magical coin adventure? My search for truth is finished at last. Get ready for a bit of drag and drop magic with our character underscore drag spell. It's like playing the magical postman, delivering treasures to our friends. Let's see how this magic works. We start with the character underscore drag to drags drop. Imagine holding a mysterious package and choosing where to deliver it. We will also use Kerbal current character and last given item to keep track of our magical actions. Here, if not drop checks if you've really dropped the package somewhere. If you haven't, it returns false. Like a postman who can't find the right address. Now we identify the treasure I am equals drag zero dot drag underscore name and the friend character equals drop dot drag underscore name. It's like reading the label on a package to know what's inside and who it's for. Here is where the real magic happens. If the character and item are correct and the item is available if character and characters and item in inventory and inventory item available, we update last given item and change our friend's expression with character underscore expression character item. Then, we mark the item as unavailable inventory item available equals false. It's like delivering a gift and seeing the joy on our friend's face. Finally, if everything is good, we return true, like a postman who successfully delivered. Otherwise, it's false, meaning we need to try again. And that's character underscore drag for you. Thanks to this function, we can deliver treasures to our friends and see their reactions. It's an important part of our drag and drop adventure. Ready to continue the journey? Adventurers, welcome to the treasure cave of our game the inventory section. Here we store all the fabulous items that we can discover and give away in our adventure. Let me show you what each treasure holds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a treasure chest. Look at our first treasures. An adorable cat and a loyal dog. Each item here has its own little world. For example, for the cat, we have a name cat, an image images slash cat.png, a description an adorable cat that me will love. And it's available, meaning it's ready to be given. We also have its coordinates X pose and it pose, which tell us where it will appear when we play with it.
And that's the dog dog, as its name with a cute image image is slash dog.png. A description and adorable dog that Lara will appreciate. And it's also available. The expose and I pose are like markers on our treasure map showing us where to place our four legged friends. In our inventory, Chiam is a gateway to new adventures and interactions. It's our magic box from which surprises and smiles emerge. Now let's enter the enchanting world of our characters. Here in the character's dictionary, each friend of our adventures described with magical details. Let me guide you through their stories. Let's first look at your favorite host, Mia. In our world of code, Mia has two expressions, neutral and happy. You can see them here. Images slash Mia underscore neutral dot PNG and images slash Mia underscore happy dot PNG. These paths lead to images that show how Mia reacts. And what is Mia's favorite treasure? A cat, of course. That's what we find under preferences. Her initial expression is neutral, but who knows how she'll react to the gifts? And here's Lyra, our other charming friend. Like Mia, Lyra also has neutral and happy expressions with her own images, but she prefers dogs. We discover this in her preferences. Just like Mia, she starts neutral so imagine the joy when she receives her favorite gift. Our characters are the heart of our adventure. Thanks to them, each interaction is unique and full of life. They remind us that behind every line of code, there's a smile or a surprise waiting to be revealed. Adventures! Get ready to discover the magical artifacts of our quest! These global variables are like compasses guiding us through our adventure. Let's see what roles they play. First we have current character, which is currently set to Mia. That's me. It's like our North Star always indicating which friend is at the center of our story. When we change adventures, we change characters. Simple, isn't it? Next up is Last Ivnitum, which starts off as none, meaning no one has received a gift yet. It's our logbook, keeping track of the last treasure given in this story. Each time an item is given, this variable remembers the gift. We also have selected underscore info and selected underscore item which start out empty. Imagine them as magical pockets in our adventure bag. When you choose an item, these pockets keep its description and identity. Thanks to them, we know which treasure we're handling. I know, oh, vampire. Bruh. And that covers our magical artifacts. They help us navigate our game, keep track of our actions, and make our adventure interactive and full of life. Ready for what's next? Let's explore how all of this comes to life in our game. Welcome to the command center of our adventure, dear friends. In our screen interact underscore with underscore characters, we create the space where all the magic happens. Follow me to explore all corner of this scene. Firstly, we establish the order with this order one so that our screen appears in the right place. Next, at images slash background dot png is our backdrop the enchanting landscape where our story comes to life. That's where everything starts. Now pay attention to this spell. If not our underscore items underscore available, it's a quick check to see if there are any treasures left to give. If our adventurer's backpack is empty, our screen displays a sad message, no items to give at the moment. It's like a sign indicating it's time to go on a quest for more gifts. You have the gift for bringing joy. Oh. And finally, our magical return button. If you don't have any items to offer from your inventory, this button will allow you to continue your quest in search of items. Our adventures continue, my dear friends. 
When our adventurer's backpack is full of treasures, our screen becomes an animated scene full of choices and magic. Let's see how we bring this to life. We create a magical window with frame. It's placed at coordinates at saline 0.0, .0 and I align 0.0, .0 meaning at the very top left of our screen. It's 400 wide and 600 high, like a large board to display each description of our objects. Inside our window, we use a VP grid to organize our treasures. Think of it as a board with a description of each gift. Spacing tin creates a little space between them so they don't crowd each other, and Mouse Wheel True allows you to scroll through the list with your mouse wheel. Yeah, a little bit of fatigue. For each treasure in our inventory, we create a text button. If the item is available, its name and description appear on a button. By ticking on it, you select it to give to a friend. It's like choosing a gift in a souvenir shop. And if an item is not available, we display question marks. A bit mysterious, isn't it? Let's move on to the drag and drop system. Here you can take an object and drag it to our friends. Follow me to see how this works. Follow me! When an item is chosen, if selected underscore item, our screen creates a special space for drag and drop. This is where your choice comes to life. In our drag group, each drag is a step in our drag and drop dance. The first drag is for the item you have selected. Drag underscore name selected underscore item identifies the object. Droppable force means that other drags can't be dropped on this drag, and attract character underscore drag it links our object to the magical function that reacts when you drop it on a character. We fix a line 0.1 and a line 0.8. We place the object at a specific spot in our scene. And image selected underscore info image shows what your chosen treasure looks like. Next we have our second drag for our friend, the recipient. Drag underscore name current character tells our spell who is ready to receive the gift. Draggable false it means the character does not move. While to line 0.5 and a line 1.0 position our friend in the scene. You know you don't have to go. Finally, image character's current character character's current character expression shows our friend's current expression. It's like seeing their live reaction to your gift. And there you have it for our drag and drop system. This is where your choice of object meets our friends, creating magical moments and joyful stories. 
ready to see how all this combines in our adventure. Let's go. My dear friends, welcome to the heart of our adventure, the Start Label. We select the default item to start with using dollar selected underscore item. Selected underscore info equals select underscore default underscore item. It's like choosing the first key to our adventure. Then, with dollars item underscore given equals false, we state that no one has yet received a gift. Next, with the call screen interact underscore with underscore characters, we open the curtain on our interactive stage. Here, you can choose an item and give it to a character. Choose your character! If an item has been given, if last given item, we change the scene to show the result of your gift. First, we show the background with show background. Then, we use our spell character underscore expression to see how our friend reacts to the gift. Depending on their reaction, if expression equals equals happy, we show a happy or neutral image. You will then see our friend Mia or Lyra happy or just polite depending on their preference for the gift you have chosen. I think I prefer Wonder Boy. Finally, we update our log with dollars item underscore given equals true indicating that a gift has been given. It's a bit like taking a box on our list of adventures. And with that, our start scene is completed. We then jump to the next part of our story with a jump sweet underscore story. Ready for the next step in our magical journey? Let's see what awaits us. Dear adventurers, we have reached the end of our epic quest. The Suet underscore story label is the final chapter of our adventure. Let me guide you through these last magical moments. With while our underscore items underscore available, we check if there are any treasures left to give. If so, Jumpstart takes us back to the beginning to continue our adventure. It's like a magic circle that keeps us in the story until all the gifts are given. When all the gifts have been given, our spell hide expression character underscore image makes the character's image disappear. It's like closing the curtain on the stage.
And there you have it. Dear friends, our coding journey comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed this adventure as much as I loved sharing it with you. Always keep the spirit of adventure and the magic of coding in your hearts. If you appreciated this tutorial, please like and subscribe for free to support me and to be notified of upcoming quests available on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon for more adventures. See you later. Bruh.